I'd like to talk about uh, economic decision making as distinguished from political decision making. And, and I'd like to start off with a definition of an economy. Uh, an economy is not just a system for producing goods and services and distributing them, because the Garden of Eden was not an economy, since there was no scarcity. So economics is the study of the use of scarce resources, which have alternative uses. So that rationing is inherent in the circumstances. Competition is inherent in the circumstances. There are people, particularly among intellectuals, who think that competition is one of those things we can choose to have or not have, when in fact all, the only choice we have is how shall the competition be carried out. The rationing is inherent whether it's under capitalism, socialism, feudalism, or any other kind of method. So that scarcity is the first lesson of economics. Now the first lesson of politics is to forget the first lesson of economics. <laughs> it's po it's po popular to call, to call politics the art of the possible. I call it the art of the plausible. Because what you're advocating doesn't have to be possible. There's no reason why you cannot enact fantasy into law. There are many laws which show fantasy has been enacted.